I don't know if y'all saw this, but Cameron and Mace went off on Jay Prince, you feel me? For uh sticking up for they they boxer Shakur Jay Prince Stevenson. A- you feel me? So let's see what they had to say to Jay Prince. Y'all know he's supposed to be like the boogeyman. Well, I don't know about currently, because it seems like niggas don't really respect him like that. Then who is this little mama? She kind of straight. There's a message for both of y'all with your comments after what you guys had to say about Shakur. He said, numbers don't lie, haters do. Let their haters say that he's boring and nobody wants to watch him. Sorry to tell you, it's just a select few of you haters. As you can see, there's proof that he has the number one ratings in any fight on ESPN this year. The top three ratings since 2022. And to all of you haters who want to escalate that hate outside of the ring, I'm Shakur's manager and I handle all his business outside of the ring. In other words, Cam and Mace, I will fade all his shots and take all bets. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Mace. You the only one we didn't hear from with this Diddy situation, man. Like, you been quiet. Oh, you know, Diddy, um, you know, that's my man. Hey, chill, killer. Mm, mm, mm. I you got know, this you, one. You I got this one. Going, <laughs> all right, go ahead. I got this one. You gonna Uh-oh. take all his fades and, and take all his shots and you handle everything out the ring? All right. So then we talking to you then, all right? <laughs> they talking to you, Jay Prince. That's Mace right there. That's Mace, the Harlem Shake Mace right there, man. Mason Betta. We starting with you. Since you the big homie, we starting with you. That's how it goes around here. Um, I, I want to just start off by saying you are so, like, lacking self-awareness. Like, when you when you give such a lackluster performance... And then you think you can make threats to people because you gave a lackluster performance? Pause. You don't have the right to tell me what I should like or to tell Cam what he should like. That's that's not your place. Like, art is subjective, right? So if art is subjective and I don't like something, you you can't really get mad at us because we don't like something. And you're standing there with two, I mean, two Hall of Fame boxers that are constantly letting their hands go. So I think is is crazy that Andre Ward let his hands go. Terrence Crawford definitely let his hands go. And then you walk out with these boxers and you don't tell the next guy to let his hands go. This is this is a, a lapse of judgment. And I'm going to tell you another thing. When you're dealing with older people, they're the last to know that things have changed. We not your little niggas. Like the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. We are not your little niggas. Like- nah, facts, man. Jay Prince there, think he the big dog to you niggas, man. He definitely came about this all wrong. You feel me? He should have been the OG, and maybe called y'all or something. You feel me? He should have called y'all and been like, "Yeah, man." We trying to squash this, man. Y'all, y'all niggas tighten up, man. But no, nah, he still want to be the big bad wolf. Like for real, all that big homie stuff. That's for little niggas. Little niggas <laughs> have big homies. We're not little niggas, so we don't even respect big homies. I know Killer doesn't, and for me, I never respected niggas in the streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Niggas would tell me, Maze, chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? <laughs> That's how I feel listening to this, man. Like, I want to respect you, but I can't. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if I got a lord, like the dudes that raised me, if I was out of pocket, they would tell me I'm out of pocket. They wouldn't let me put them on a crash out mission. They would say, yo, Mace, listen, listen. Mm-hmm. Around here... We don't send niggas to do nothing for us. We don't pay niggas to handle our problems. Mm -hmm. You got to put in your own work around here, Lord, man. That's what you were supposed to tell them. You can't go out here and talk crazy and then send me on a mission. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is where the game got messed up. When young niggas started sending old niggas out, and just because this little ignorant nigga got a few dollars... (laughs) He make all of you that's supposed to be real run after his mission. Mm. Cam love that shit. Cam like, mm, 
You spitting. No ditty. Because I know you mace. <laughs> this is a problem, Jay Prince. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're 60 years old mm. and you're trying to be a street nigga, <laughs> you failed. Being 60 and being a street nigga is, shouldn't be in the same motherfucking breath. You feel me? You felt. You felt. You felt. I'm telling you this. And I, I'm, I stand. My name is Mace. I stand by this message. All right, mm. man. See? That's the murder you <laughs> That's what I'm talking about with you right there. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. That's... <laughs> mm. All right, what, what's up with all this? <laughs> yeah. mm. You can't be 60 years old still trying to be a street I, nigga. I, I, I know they, That's facts, though. They just don't know you like that. <laughs> yeah. they, don't, they, they don't know you like that. I know. I think Jay Prince, he ain't. All I feel like I've got to say. You know, I was really like. <laughs> <laughs> situation, Yo, niggas, yo, puff, yo, niggas, <laughs> niggas, Drake, niggas, yeah, niggas, he, niggas. How do you, how do you about this? Shit that was oh. like elections, so I be with. Sure about. <laughs> I'm in interview mode since you gonna yeah. go this route this morning. Yeah. He did say something back to whack me. I get to the J Prince shit. All I should go viral, so niggas never see how this started. They only see how I be getting finished. So the, for the people that's catching up on this, who have no idea how this started. Right. We gave our opinion of the fight. The we opinion. said the shit was boring. Everybody All of us one. said it was boring. It's a hundred niggas saying it's boring. But I'm one of them. Because our shit go viral, niggas think that they could keep talking to us. Shakur Stevenson told us to get the strap <laughs> or strap up Not or better yet, strap. put the gloves on so he could fight us. We said what he said and then he started going crazy. Everything was over with. Me personally, I'm sick of it before I even address the J. Prince thing. I'm sick of it. I left it alone. We have not talked about a nigga this much before his fights or after his fights and none of his fights. However many fights he had in his career. This is the most traction I, the nigga ever got. No. My nigga, I had a meeting on Friday. This is no cap. With some, some of my Jewish partners. His Jewish partners, y'all. He sold out to the Jews, y'all. Shout out to Shapiro's. I won't give you first name. Shout out to my partner. Before the meeting started, now they probably asked didn't. me, Murder, wh why are you arguing with Tupac's son, Cam? I said, what are you talking about? Nah, they thought that was Tupac's son. <laughs> so the Jews thought Shakur Stevenson was Tupac's son. That's fucking crazy. He said, no, we see it in the media. You're arguing with, with ain't, ain't that Tupac? So I said, that, that's not, it's a, no, his first name is Shakur. Not a lot. He said, well, what, what does he do? I said, no, never mind, never mind. They didn't even know. They yeah. never heard of the nigga. Yeah. But because we keep talking about the nigga. We don't said, keep talking about we, him. Yeah, exactly. He, I, it, no, you know what it is? Our clips go viral all week. So yeah. it don't stop. It ain't, once we say it, it's viral all week. Oh, okay. So word to everything I love. I swear to God, after I got off that meeting, I said, word to mommy, man. Word to mommy. I said to myself, I'm leaving this shit alone, bro, because niggas don't even know this nigga. You don't know, I'm, I don't mind <laughs> keep going. Yeah. But I'm like, this don't make no sense. So what happened is Saturday night, I guess they interviewed him. And he was like, yeah, hey, is everything cool it's with open. you and Mason? With Mason Cam and all that, da, da, da. Fuck them bitch ass niggas. Them niggas are still bitch-ass niggas. Ain't nothing changed. This is what he said Saturday night. This is a week after the fight. So the niggas who run my social media page, our social media page, they got the same uh, humor that we got. Yeah. <laughs> they start putting up pictures of him when he's crying in the Olympics, whatever, whatever. The next day is when Jay Prince just say what she wrote. Hey, yo, my man, listen, James. Let me explain something to you, bro. Uh-oh. May said it exactly. You 60, nigga. You 60 plus. Nigga about to be in a diaper soon. And you're taking shots at Mason Killer. 60? What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro, I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you line um, young boy NBA up. Why the fuck you 
got Shakur with you, and this is why he acting like that. Oh yeah, this I remember exactly that. Why you acting like that? Uh, talking about you got young boy NBA umbrellas and his keys to car. Young boy NBA told y'all niggas eat a dick. This is what he said. This is what young boy NBA said. Wack 100 was the most disrespectful. Wow, disrespect. Y'all yeah, remember that when NBA young boy got his shit stolen? Jay Prince said, hey, young fella, I got your Maybach keys in your umbrella. You know, you come down and holler at me, I got you. And yeah, y'all know NBA young boy. That nigga don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> he told Jay Prince to fuck you, man. God damn. I ain't even gonna repeat this shit back where Hunter said. Mad disrespect. Drake is beefing with Kendrick Lamar as we speak. I have not heard. This is the first time Drake got into some shit and I ain't hear you say shit to Kendrick Lamar now. Why do you think that you could tell us Calling them a what we can and, and cannot say, my nigga? Control your nigga. Control that nigga. Ain't nobody gonna tell a nigga, get the strap and then we gonna sit there and be like, hey, hey, I think we, we should shut up. Nah, nigga. Facts. This ain't, no, this is not 1982, bro. It's not. You cannot sit here and tell niggas get the strap and then they niggas can't. be quiet. Nobody know that part because I should just be going viral. You bugging. You bugging, James. You bugging, my nigga. Yeah, he should have called y'all. I don't know what man. bet you talking about and all that other slang down. Bet it. Whatever bet you talking about, bet it. I don't know what's bet it. <laughs> <laughs> I got five on cam. Before we even move on from this, I got to ask, do you guys feel like there's a beef? Because there's literally a full on oh, article, even from Billboard, talking about, you know, the Shakur versus Mason Cameron beef explain, giving timeline and timestamps and posts. Do you guys even feel like there's a beef or you guys really feel like it was never that big of a deal? <laughs> No, I don't think it was a beef at all. I, I think we, we, we're we going to continue to do exactly what we do. Before we slow down, we're going to pick up the speed. We're definitely not slowing down for nobody. Anything come across this desk, we are responsible to tell the truth and to tell it exactly the way it is. We're not going to ever sugarcoat something for anybody that comes across this platform. And <laughs> so make sure when your sports come across us, that it comes across us the way you want it to be heard because when we see a fight, we have to call it the way we call it. When we see basketball, we got to call it the way we call it, and we're not changing for nobody. That's what makes us different. And that's really the best take, to be okay. totally honest with you. Look, a great take is this. Listen, and that was a great take, Mace. Yeah. When I put out an album, or Mace puts out an album, if somebody don't like it, we're not running around chasing down everybody that don't like the album. Facts, man. Everybody, everybody is entitled to their own opinion of your art, of your craft. You feel me? You just got to take it on the chin. No ditty. <laughs> but, man, that's it for this section.